What's up guys, Souls Gaming here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we have Smooth Talking Souls here, and today we're gonna smooth talk our way right into... <laughs> what am I doing? Souls Gaming here, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your own icon. Now, as you can see, recently, I've made my own icons. Well, kind of my own icons. I didn't make the ship, but I did make a ship, which uh, failed horribly. I'm still working on it. It Right now, it just doesn't look that great. Hey, but I did add some texture to this, and I also made my own cube. I made my own cube. So that's this was a success. Kind of. Kind of. It's supposed to be more colorful, but as you can see, it doesn't... Uh, the only way it shows that the outline color is through the outline right here but anyway that, enough of that I'm gonna show you actually how to do this and how to make your own ship and you can also do this with a ball so UFO you can do it with anything you can literally do it with anything you can even change the color of these but I'm we're not gonna get into that today all right so without any further ado let's get right into it all right so the first thing you want to do is when you first open up steam go to your library and find geometry dash now you what you're gonna do is gonna right click on it Go to properties, local files, then browse local files. You see, simple enough, easily going along, going along just fine. Now we're gonna double click on the resources, the resources file, and what you're met, met with is a bunch of craziness, a bunch of fonts, documents, fonts, you know, colors, this guy, that guy, all the robot guys, yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and where I do my icons is you go to G, GJ underscore G, Game Sheet 2 HD. This is the one I use for my icons, for the icons I change. You can find different icons on these ones, I believe. Well, no, no, I, I take that back. This is for the low detail one and this is for the medium detail one. I figured that out the hard way because... When I figured this out, it was ridiculous. Oh, by the way, before editing this, and I do repeat, make sure there is a, f a copy of this. Just in case you mess up your textures, make sure there's a copy of this safely downloaded slash saved anywhere in one of your saved files. I'm not really that organized, but have one of these safe. Have a backup of these. Like the original textures for the game, have that in your back pocket because if you mess up, then you're messed up you're gone but i will show you an easier way to fix it all you really have to do is uninstall geometry dash from steam and reinstall it then your textures will reset but without any further ado all right let's get right into it all right so we're gonna right click on the game sheet now you can do this with any really f photo editing software but what i used to do like what i use now is paint.net which is also how I make my thumbnails so that's where we're gonna open it see you can open it with paint paint 3d who uses paint 3d what is that anyway but we're gonna open it with paint.net so we can edit it now it comes the juicy part all right so here it is it is finally loaded now don't be afraid when it takes a long time to load it's just a bunch of textures a bunch of art being loaded in and now you're welcome to the world of icons all of the 2.1 slash 2.0 icons right here in your face and along with some 1.8 1.9 icons as well these are not all icons at least i don't think so i haven't really checked all the icons but yeah this is where the magic happens you want to know how edster makes his texture packs well he uses photoshop but i use paint.net all right so as you can see here as we zoom in Oh, oh, by the way, I'll also leave a link to download paint.net in the description below. But as you can see here, here's the ship I made. I made it a little bit too bold. So, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that whenever I get the chance. But here, as you can see, this is what I really want to show. Uh, this ship right here, I edited it a little bit. Made it my own custom little thing. Kind of looks like chases. But, you know, this looks... I really enjoy looking at this. I actually, it's actually really easy to make these. Not even gonna lie. And let's see if I can find the icon da, 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 right here. Here's my icon right here. Now I'm gonna show you how to make your own icon. So first, let's go ahead and open a new file. We're gonna make it a decent, decent size as soon as it loads. We're gonna make it 
Might as well 400 by 400, because why not? All right, so what we're going to do is go to our little shape tool. No, 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 no. Well, I guess we could. What you can do is, like, if you want a rounded uh, cube, uh, as you go. Eh, let me start. Let me go. We're going slow for y'all tonight. Anyway, go down. Click on the line slash, line slash curve tool. Or shark. Eh. And then go up to here style and we can make it arrowed which don't but we're gonna make it rounded we're gonna make it rounded and we're gonna make the thickness of the brush a little bit bigger so just around the size of a geometry dash icon make a little bigger than that uh, that's pretty good uh, you and here's a good tip for making straight lines is you click and hold shift and then you'll make a straight line going diagonal or over so this is actually really neat and when you see these that all that means is that you can bend your icon or bend the line a little bit so it's a little bit like Photoshop basically paint on this basically a free version of Photoshop which is why I like it it's free anyway continue go ahead oops also you make sure to do this in different layers how to make different layers is right here. You click on this little thing right here. That makes a new layer, which means these two lines will be separate. Let's go ahead and click on this. Hold shift. Now that's in a different layer. We can do this. And if you want to be really even with it, you can always just copy the layer below, like such as duplicate layer right here. I can just duplicate it and then I can rotate it really nice and now you got a nice little square right here this is basically this is a basic icon right here nothing too special nothing too hard nothing too difficult just simple basic square right here now I'm gonna make a little bit of a design Let's see go ahead and make the different layer get the same keeping the same tool keeping the same width you can do different width though for different designs of your choice. We're just going to make this real simple though. Going corner to corner. You can uh, bend it a little bit. No? Yeah, something like that. And go do a different layer. We're just, I'm just making a random design. This is not going to be perfect. Not at all. Not even by a long shot. Um, nah, it's starting to look pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, hmm. Yeah, we're actually going to leave that straight. Yeah, so deselect. Oh, by the way, the shortcut for making a deselect is Control D. Nice little icon right here. Nice little mosaic painting right here. All right, so we'll go ahead and select the colors, the main color, which is going to be the white. Basically, the main color. I keep saying main color. Color, color, color. And now how Rob Todd makes the shading is he selects the white, all the white areas he wants to make darker, and adds a little bit of darkening to it. So the V right here, basically this is darkness. I'll get into hue, saturation, and I don't know what that V means. I should really pay attention in graphics class. But we, look, this the basically the V means how close it is to white or its color or how close it is to black. Same with saturation. Saturation is how close it is to the color and how close it is to white. Basic, that's basically what these two mean. So we're just gonna darken this a little bit. Go a little bit darker, about 60. And go ahead and fill in those colors. Fill in the selected places. And then we're gonna select a few more places, like here and here, and no, let's go ahead and make this one dark. Make one of the darkest ones. Go ahead and click over, make it 30. And boom. Nice colored icon. I really like I actually really like this. Like, this design is actually looking pretty nice. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this icon, go to the texture layer. Now, be sure to do this. This is a mistake that everybody likes to make. Make a new layer before you post the icon you've created, all right? Because if you didn't, 
then when you edit try to put the icon into the uh, texture it won't work you will move the whole entire texture and when you try to fix it all the icons will look shifted to one side and the whole entire texture pack is messed up and then you have to uninstall geometry dash and it's just a mess so always make a new layer and place your icon into that layer all right so next step we're gonna replace an icon that we have but instead of that icon being there we're gonna overlay it with this icon right here that we just made so the first step is finding the design right so let's see we can replace the blasting blasting process one let's go ahead and do that and make sure this cube accommodates to the size of that icon so you can place it right above go all it takes is a little bit of patience and yeah also the thickness remember the thickness thickness always counts you need your icon to be thick but not too thick all right so we're gonna make that layer opa opaque now the next step is one of the most tedious slash annoying parts is erasing not only this but the outer layering of this icon and what i mean by this is you notice these white textures you see variety like these little trims outside yeah that's the glow on the outside of the icons so what you need to do to fix the uh, fix your icon is you have to find not only this the icon you're replacing but you're also going to have to find the outlining of it. So an easy way to find it is make a new layer, put it below the background layer, get the paint bucket tool and get an abstract color. And I'm just going to get like purple, just random abstract color, purple. And yeah, now we go on the search for it. Here, there it is right there. Not very hard to find. And there we go. Going to zoom in. And all you're doing is now just removing this. That's literally all you're doing now at this point. All you're doing is replacing it and removing. Replacing and removing. But before we do this step, let's go ahead and erase the um, move out of the way. Stupid colors. Let's go ahead and replace this icon right here. So let's go ahead and go to the background layer where all the textures are. Select only the blasting the icon that you're replacing which in my case is this one only select that one and delete it by pressing delete on your keyboard right or if you don't have delete on your keyboard just go to edit and then you'll be able to do a race selection whatever's in that box and now when I click on this layer 2 make it opaque now it looks like it fits right on and perfect beautiful but we're not done yet not done yet so we're gonna go ahead and go into this layer. Object, uh, no, go to effects. I actually downloaded a uh, add-on to uh, this. I added, I, I downloaded an add-on to paint.net. That is why I have all these extras right here. There are videos out there with the how to download the, um, the plugin so you can get all these. I will also put that in the description below. But anyway, let's stop wasting time. What we're gonna do is go to outline object, click on that, and make it so you can actually see how you're outlining it. Make it white. This is important. Make it white. And we're gonna make it two. We're gonna keep it at two. That's what the normal jump dash size is. And now we're gonna take it, click on the white, copy it, and then we're gonna delete it from this layer. Go to a different layer. I'm just gonna make a different layer on top of this. Control V, since we copied it. And now we're gonna move it over to, remember that blasting guy cost icon, the whitening outline I was talking about. This is what we're gonna use for it. So let's go ahead and find that wide open space. Let's go ahead and zoom out to make it a little easier. Should be about, whoops, I'm messing that up. That's, it's easy to mess it up, but anyway, here it is. There it is. There it is right there. Go ahead and zoom in on that. Now all you're doing is the exact same thing, but except with the outline. And now, you, there you go, got the outlining for your icon. Now we're gonna go to File. 
actually first before I do that I almost made a big mistake don't forget to delete the color background because that will save into your game and it will mess up all your colors so don't do that all right all right so go ahead and delete that layer so the backgrounds are already back opaque go to file save as and make sure you're in the file where steam is like I go to PNG make sure you save as a PNG and make sure it has the exact same name GJ underscore gaming sheet O2 dash HD save it and it's gonna say this it's gonna say confirm there's already one that exists do you want to replace it click on yes but be sure you have the backup one just in case you mess this up and I'm gonna press OK flatten image and then we're gonna pull up geometry dash see how it looks Alright, go here and look at that. Look at that. Made your own icon. It looks really nice, really cool. It actually works too. And you can do this with all your ships, all your icons. You can do this with anything and replacing it. It's just really fun, really cool. All you do is a little bit of practice. Let's just go ahead and choose. And uh, let's just go ahead and go on Stereo Madness, because why not? Since we're already here. And yeah, look. Hey, your little own icon just jumping around man. it's really fun man and don't believe me when I say it makes different colors watch this look make it yellow it makes darker shades of yellow makes darker shades of orange makes darker shades of green and these actually look pretty nice actually like yo look at the look at this look at this one you can also do this with gradients which I will show in another tutorial if you want me to but as of now, this is my icon right here, my favorite one that I made, and my first one that I made, and I, I, I personally like it, I personally love it. This will be the icon I use, and I'm also trying to expand away from Geometry Dash, you know, because <laughs> it's not getting updated anymore, so I'm no Rob Tubbs working hard, but I want to expand past Geometry Dash and have a bigger variety of games in my life, you know? have games come into your life but i'm getting off track hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time batman says later